I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to sketch graph of natural logarithms. Now logarithmic functions to the base e written as l and x are also called natural logs. Right? So let's use these terms natural logarithms on the keyboard you will find ln as the key on the calculator right now these are to the base of e where e is approximately equals to e is an irrational number which is approximately equals to 2.718 and so on correct so that is the value of e the question before us is sketch the graph of ln x plus x minus 1 right so so the base is e we need to sketch this graph and then describe so what we will do is we will sketch the basic function first and then we'll transform it so as you can see here it is transformation right so we could say uh, the transformation in this particular case is uh, ln x uh, shifted or transformed horizontally 1 unit right okay. so what we will do is we will first sketch ln x and then we will translate it 1 unit to the right so, so in general the graph will be kind of like this right so that is how the graph is and this graph is for ln x correct so as with any other graph always the x intercept for the parent function will be at 1 now since here the base is e let me say this is 1 unit so this becomes 2 3 and 4 so so this is 2 for us 3 so this is a very approximate drawing which will really help you to understand the concept more than the accuracy now e is approximately 2.7 so it is close to 3 correct so a point here so let me just just sketch this point carefully as these are critical points for us should result into y value of how much l and e should be 1 so that should give me 1 correct so if i have something two times this uh, then that would be 2 right now so that is one critical point for this function and the other crit critical point could be 1 over e right so if I have 1 over e then I'll get minus 1 as my value so let us say this is minus 1 and this point on x-axis represents 1 over e for me okay so that is so I'll work with these three points to show you how to sketch the graph of ln x minus 1 and of course one critical point which I have is the vertical asymptote right so we know that the vertical asymptote here is what it is x equals to 0 that is the vertical asymptote. so that becomes the fourth thing and the fifth thing about this graph is that it is always increasing as x approaches infinity y also approaches infinity right so these are the considerations which we will keep in mind while sketching our function well we have already sketched the parent function ln x correct now what we need to do is shift this function one unit to the right so when I because it is ln x minus 1 so this x intercept will move to position 2 so we'll have a point here this position moves to closer to 4 so that goes kind of there and this 1 over e also moves a bit more to the side correct and the vertical asymptote also moves a bit towards one so i'll move it further since these points are very very close so what we'll have now is a vertical asymptote shift to one right so it's kind of very close so we'll have a vertical asymptote at x equals to one now since it has shifted one unit to the right and we can connect the other points to draw the graph so we have this graph which is shifted right so it will be kind of right so 
approximately like this will be our function ln x minus 1. You get the idea, right? So that is how you should be actually sketching your graph for the given functions. It's a good practice to first do the parent function, then apply the transformations, right? For example, now if I change my equation for you to practice, let's say my question for you is sketch 2 times ln x minus 1. So in that case, what are you going to do? You can stretch every y point by 2 times. Of course, this x-intercept remains at the same position, right? So that could be your practice question. Now, let's look into describing characteristics for this particular function. So whenever you're describing logarithmic functions, of course, or any function for that matter, we always start with domain, right? So we say domain of this function is x belongs to real numbers and x is greater than 1 now, right? x is greater than 1. So that is the domain. As far as range is concerned, we know y belongs to real numbers. There is no restriction in range of logarithmic functions, correct? We can say x intercepts and y intercept. So as far as x intercept is concerned, it is now at 2. So x intercept will be at 2, 0 and it will not have any y intercept right so these are few important characteristics and end behavior is that when x approaches infinity y approaches infinity right so these are the characteristics in addition we can say the function is always increasing and those of you who have done rate of change will say that the rate of change is always decreasing it's important that means if uh, let me write this is a different part altogether okay so these are the characteristics we just listed right okay this also always increasing rate of change is always decreasing because if i draw a tangent here it is positive First, because the function is always increasing, that means the slope is always positive, as you can see. But the slope decreases. Do you see that? It becomes lesser and lesser. So, rate of change decreases. Function is always increasing. It means that the slope is positive for the tangent, right? So, that means positive slope, correct? So, so positive slope of tangent means it is function is increasing this this means uh, always increasing this means function is always increasing is it okay but since the slope is decreasing rate of change is decreasing that is kind of very critical to understand correct okay? so i hope with this you get fairly good knowledge of uh, sketching functions for natural logarithms. Thank you and all the best.